Local 44 News. At this place in history, we're in Island Pond with Steve Perkins, Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society. Steve, I think people can probably figure out that this structure behind us is why we're here this week, but what is it? So right now it's the Brighton Garage, yeah. um, but it is an amazing survivor of history that mm. it was a lumber mill and then it was a dance hall <laughs> and then yeah. it became a car dealership and a garage, but the main structure is still there and just yeah. everything that that building's seen, I can only imagine. Yeah. So James O'Gorman from the uh, Island Pond Historical Society is going to uh, join us. So James, this building started off like as the Fitzgerald Land and Lumber Company. What does that mean? Who are these folks? Uh, Mr. Fitzgerald was a lumber baron of this area uh, in the late 1870s or so, built and built a major mill here in this area behind this building. And this building behind us was part of that process. And uh, it stayed in business until about 1903, 1906, and owned over 40,000 acres he also made bobbins here for uh, woolen mills and things like that. At one point he had over 400 workers here. He built a, a, a fancy Victorian mansion not too far from here up on the hill, which uh, he rented out over time. And uh, Lieutenant Governor Dale from this town bought it at one point. And it, it, it's still in existence and someone has purchased it in the past couple of years and started renovating it. And it wasn't just the Fitzgerald Company. There were a lot of lumber companies. That was a, a big industry here in Vermont's Northeast Kingdom. Correct. At one time, over the 1800s, there were over 88 mills in this area. So, I mean, lumber was king around here. Mr. Fitzgerald passed away in 1903 in Boston. Uh, he is buried in one of the cemeteries in here in town. Other activities took over the place of the mill. We had a blueberry factory here. We also had a furniture factory here at one time too. And I heard it was a dance hall at one point. Yeah, it was a dance hall at one point and a balcony on this end of the building where the band used to play. It was a Chevrolet dealership for almost 75 years with the Gallette family. And now it's a used car dealership. Now if people want to learn more about the Fitzgerald Lumber Company or lumbering in the Northeast Kingdom and here in Island Pond, how can they learn more about that? They can certainly contact the Island Pond Historical Society. We do have our website and you can visit our museum for the 2022 season. We'll be open on Saturdays from 11 to 1. A survivor in Island Pond that still motors along at this place in history. Mike, Steve, thank you. Well, Phil Scott has obviously had to limit the